What's up guys, so I'm in a random trading estate because starting videos in random places and you drove the Titan you're like what? Seriously? And I know my gloves don't match. I'm going to Fowler's and I'm trying on some new gear so that's why I'm wearing these gloves because I want them to match these gloves and yada yada yada. But yeah, you read the Titan you're like why shouldn't I buy an MT-07? Because you should buy one of these instead. The MT-07 is a fantastic bike like seriously just insane. Sorry for all the wind, I, I hate driving along the dual carriageway, it's always so bloody windy. But yeah, so why you should buy a Ducati over an MT-07? The MT-07 is a fantastic bike, the power range on that thing is just immense, like all the torques either low down or mid range, which is perfect for the city, and he's going a bit, so yeah, it's the perfect bike. But then, for the same price, for an MT-07, you can pick up one of these. And I think this is a lot, lot better. Personally, anyway. Uh, obviously, I'm biased. I own the Ducati. But I think the MT-07 and the, the Hypermotard 796 are very, very similar. Very similar CC size. Very similar how they produce the power. And very similar in looks. But the MT-07 has become this super popular thing. And granted, it's because it's fucking amazing. Granted as well that you can pick up an, a second-hand MT-07 for about four and a half grand. So that's 500 quid cheaper than this. But this is a Ducati. You know, you get in that Ducati name. And personally, I think this looks better. You're, if you put an MT-07 and a Ducati Hypermotor 796 next to each other and let people walk past, more people are going to look at the Ducati, you know. Bright reds people people know the name you know what I mean and um, personally that that's what I love power wise they're pretty much exactly the same you do get uh, ABS on the M207 which you don't get on this um, so if that's something you you like ABS then get the M207 over it but the M207 is so popular loads of people got one I think they've almost sold a hundred thousand uh, models uh, in the world now, which is ridiculous for a motorcycle. One thing, the advantage of an MT-07 is that... I wish I could have squeezed past this car. Ah, well. The turning circle is better than the Ducati's. The handlebars are a little bit thinner, so filtering between traffic, I think the MT-07's got it. MT-07 sounds pretty darn good when you put an exhaust on it. Don't say this, the, the Ducati doesn't sound bad, but it does have its own Ducati sound. If you've ever heard of a ever heard of Ducati, trust me it sounds a lot better in person so it, it depends on what one you want uh, the reason I didn't go with an MT-07 that's a fucking rad thing man uh, the reason I didn't go for an MT-07 is just because they're they're way too popular now in my opinion not a bandit yeah, it's nice it's nice if you want the MT-07 uh, I don't know, <laughs> mojo if you want, you know, like the torquiness, you know, being able to clutch up in third gear and uh, the, uh, an awesome sound, etc, etc, but you don't want an MT-07, get this, they're very, very similar bikes, seriously, they're so similar, it's ridiculous, the MT-07 has, you know, got the edge in some places, uh, it's a little bit cheaper, a brand new one is a little bit more expensive, so they're very similar in price um, But these are a lot rarer Personally think I, I think they look better reliability wise. They're probably about the same people say Ducatis aren't that reliable, but the modern day Ducatis are actually reliable like if you actually search up the major issues on this There's very very minimum like most bikes, so if you don't, if you want that, that kind of, how do I put it, like, the, the, just the feel of an M207, don't want an M207 because it's too popular, which is something I personally, my voice break then, I personally think about when I'm buying a bike, um, shoot, it's fun, because of YouTube and things, or you, or you just want something different, get a Hypermotor 796, even the 1100, um, the 1100 is a little bit more expensive, but you're getting a shit ton of torque and you're getting the, a Ducati, you know what I mean? 
Whoopa! I'm gonna pop my mirrors back out now. Look at that, you don't get that on an MP07, do you? It does make the, the bike look uh, a little bit like uh, an aeroplane, but I like it. Hey, it's a good bike here. Is that a BMW 90? Yeah, nice mate. Do you want to go here? <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's, this, it's the 796 model, but it's an 803cc engine. Oh, that's bloody good fun. Oh, it's, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I've only had her about three weeks now. Yeah. And I went from an R3 to this. And uh, it's, it's a different machine. Yeah. I've got some Oh, yeah. It's mad. Yeah, I, I think it's like... I want to say it's 55 newton meters of torque. I like 4,000 reps. <laughs> it's mad. Do a wheelie. Oh yeah, <laughs> very good at wheelies. But I, I thought uh, I rode my mate's um, KTM uh, LC4 640, yeah. and that thing, you pull the throttle and it just it just wheelies everywhere. Uh, KTM 640. Yeah. 640. Yeah. Um, and that thing. You just wouldn't pull off. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. front wheel wheel wheel. Wheel. yeah. <laughs> I thought this would be the same. Um, but when I bought it, I come up around the corner from the dealership, I was like, oh, I'll see if it wheelies. And it doesn't. Like, initially, because it's so long, yeah. it just, it like plants itself and just and goes. Um, but when you know the sweet spot, you can just. <laughs> yeah, you too.